back in the pyramid. <laughs> you know, it's funny, like the last time we were here competing, we must have been little kids, you know, and we haven't really got to experience what it's like to be here at Worlds as a black belt. So I'm just grateful to be here. You know, this is when I was a little tiny kid, this is all I dreamed about was fighting here in the pyramid, having the crowd chanting at me, and you know, it's coming through. So I'm so stoked to be here. I woke up, I was underweight, I was like, man, today, today it's, it's, it's gonna be good. <laughs> my dad's here, my whole team's here, and I feel very happy to be here, having this opportunity to be fighting in the pyramid. It's just like very exciting. I uh, fought as a juvenile, but now coming back again in fighting as a black belt, it's something crazy. <laughs> I don't know you guys watching, but here it's just like, oh, bro, is back. Hey! <laughs> Ty is uh, unstoppable. He's a master of competition, you know. It's a different jiu-jitsu, you know. You can see, like, the way he pass, the leg pain. He used the no gi in the gi. He adapts so fast. It is incredible, and I believe he's going to be in the finals. I came from a very small academy. I came from Pro Deck in Manaus, a city there, far from here. I don't care about the result. I just want to give my best and fight. I know that the result, it's something that it's a consequence. I'm going to run it to God's hand and I see what I get. <laughs> Your first match at Black Belt in, in the Gi? Yeah, sure. First match it's, uh, since last Worlds, actually. <laughs> Jonathan was stalling a lot, and I think people are kind of really getting over the, the stalling in the gi. It makes the sport so boring, you know? So I was just trying to push the pace. Every time I step on the mat, that's my goal, to break my opponent. And we need more of that, you know? More people going for the submission and, you know, making it look good. You just see what it's all about. You know, no one wants to watch boring matches. You know, I don't want to just sit there and, and play footsies, you know, and then, you know, stall it out, you know? But my goal is to break my opponent. Third match, I got the former world champion, uh, Matisse Gabriel. I, I've been watching him like since my my childhood, maybe like 11, 12 years. So I know him a lot. I'm a big fan of of Jiu Jitsu. And it was an honor to fight him. I did a little bit of Fabrizio things, you know. Yeah, we saw it. Ah, it's not my style, but I tried. <laughs> not their guy revenge for Fabrizio. He went out and beat the teammate of the guy that beat Fabrizio. No, nah, I don't fight for revenge. <laughs> I just uh, fight for for the feeling. How, how you feeling going into tomorrow? Too you ready? <laughs> I know that this year is my year. Hey. <laughs> And when you go left to right too, just remember that I'm expecting if you go left to go right. So sometimes you can go here and then right. You can yeah. double it left or just keep them guessing. We have our game plan. We know what we're here to do. Just fuck shit up. I trained with Jonathan. So I lived with him for quite a while. We worked together. I knew that it was going to be a very tough match. Of course, I, I had on my mind uh, always the, the submission. I really like the person he is, and to be able to compete with him is just something that makes me really happy. I'm still a big fan of his uh, style, the way he does the jiu-jitsu. Actually, I didn't expect to submit him like the way the way I did. Nogi and the gi, man, I'm telling you, it works good. You know, Nogi is like. It's the, it's the whole body, you know, in the gi, I think people get distracted with all the lapels and all the grips you can make, but at the end of the day, jiu-jitsu is jiu-jitsu, you know, my goal is to take down, pass, and submit. That's what I'm going to try and do that tomorrow, you know, to get the goal, that's what I came here for. Dude, a dream come true. I want to do it for myself, for my family, and for, you know, everyone around me supporting me. Yeah, it's going to be a barn burner, it's going to be unreal. Ty's good, man. The guy he's going up with is no joke. That's the one that I'm excited to see out of all of them. I know you're about to win this. I know for a fact. I can already tell. Like we've always said in the past, we never do anything without the expectation of winning, right? So, you know, if we didn't think we could win, we wouldn't probably be there. Mika's very physically strong. I think Ty's gonna have to take like a strategic approach, but at the same time, just kind of try an alpha. You know what I mean? 
it's going to be a, a hell of a match. This is by far the most anticipated final of the entire tournament because you've got two of the best representatives of the modern generation of black belts right here on the mats in front of us. In the blue gi, Tai Rutolu of Atos. In the white gi, Mika Galvao of Fight Sports. Tai Rutolu in 2021, just back in December, brown belt world champion. And now finds himself in the final. Mika Galvao. Perfect time. Perfect time to Stay up, stay up, stay up. It looks like he can be swept, but look at that. No, Mika still is up on top. Mika manages to put time down. That's a two-point reversal right there. Yes, Ty. That's it. Oh, looks like he's going to turn back into the post. And he's right up. And we'll see what Tyro Cole can do with this minute and 20 seconds to make back the score. If he can pass, he can win this. Mika Galvao has two points and five advantages. Tyro Toto needs a three-point guard pass at the minimum to win this match. I'm going to to hold you here the rest of the match. I promise. Toto is trapped in this close guard. He tried to lift. He tried to stand. He tried to pop drag. Mika Galvao, one last look at a short attack. Over Plata here. Will he be able to finish here in the last seconds? Tyro Toto looking to step back, step around, and try to go for a counter. But Mika Galvao as the clock winds down. It is over. The match is over. And Mika Galvao takes the championship gold medal. 2022 IBJJ World Champion Mika Galvao and a great showing from Ty Rotolo in his first outing at Black Belt Worlds. The youngest IBJJF Black Belt World Champion in history, Mika Galvao, 18 years of age. Uh, I felt good, you know, I tried to get the, the submission there, of course, uh, as I always try to. I couldn't do the, the, the way I wanted, but that's the way. Uh, we got to train more and just come back better every time. Strong as fuck, dude. You did amazing. Good job. You're the only natural athlete out here, bro. <laughs> I swear. We'll train for the next one. You did amazing. Today, I thought I'd be able to find my way around the strength and get to my positions, but he got to his positions instead. You know, I ended up losing by a couple points, so... I was bummed to lose, of course, you know, I came here to win, and uh, I have no excuses, you know, today he was the better man. I, I thought he was even going to be stronger than he was, honestly, you know, and then I fought him, and, and I felt he was beatable, you know, and I had certain times in the match where I could have, uh, you know, done better, I could have capitalized off, off some mistakes of his, and I, and I did it the way I should have, you know, so, you know, next time. Yeah, I think that we do our things with lots of love. We have a mission here on Earth which is show to people that you don't need much to do big things now you just did a little bit of effort faith you just gotta do it with all your heart